2012 Junior Cert Higher Level, pictorial view of the design of lawnmower shown, and 3D graphic of the lawnmower is also shown. So draw an elevation in the direction of ROA, project a plan from the elevation, project an end view in the direction of ROB, and determine the true shape of surface S. The first thing I'm going to start off is by drawing the elevation. Um, and um, just a few point, few things to point out before I start. If I actually look, the lawnmower itself is offset 10 mil from the XY line, so it's sitting up off the ground. The wheels, the wheels are the only thing that are in contact with the XY line. So I'm going to draw in my. XY line and I'm going to start off by drawing my elevation so I'm just going to draw a box 178 by 96 high My elevation is definitely going to fit inside that box. Next thing that we can do then, we can offset 10 mil from the bottom. And I can measure up 70 mil as well. So I'm measuring a series of measurements in here, 10, 33, 15, so 10, 33, 15, 30, 25, 25, and then I have 40 left over. The first thing I'm going to do is draw in the wheels. This wheel here and this wheel here. So my centre for this wheel here is going to be along this line. And the centre for this wheel here is going to be here. So the radius for the first wheel is 16. So I'm going to measure up 16 here. And the radius for the second wheel is 22. So there's my two wheels drawn in. So the next thing I'm going to draw in now is this sloping surface here, and I'm going to see that as a edge. So the top of the grass collector is going to be along that line there. So I can see that this front part of the lawnmower is up 10 and I can actually measure up another 15 from here. And that gives me that point there. And I know that that point is going to go up somewhere here. So it's actually up. This 25 mil mark here. Drop a straight line here. And that gives me this point here.
have a look at my question. I'm going to have I have three surfaces here. I have S, and this surface, and this surface, and they're going to look like three rectangles. Well, three three shapes here. So I'm going to draw those in here as well. So that's my elevation there. The next thing I know, I can move on to my plan. So I'm going to bring down the widths here. So in my plan, I have the wheel, then I have the actual width of the lawnmower, and then I have the wheel again. So it's I'm going to leave it about a 20 mil gap. And I'm going to measure 15 for the first wheel. Then that's going to be 31. And 31 again, which will leave me with 62. And then another 15 then for the final wheel. I'm going to bring down this information here from my elevation as well. First thing I'm going to put in is, is the wheels. So I'm going to bring down the width of the wheels from my elevation. Draw in the weights. That's the first thing you want to do. So the next thing to draw in then is this part here, the lawnmower. Now I know for the for the grass collector, I can draw this in next. You know, that's a point, that's a point, that's a point. So this here is the top of the grass collector. There's top of the grass collector. Now I can draw in my lawnmower here. So I know that this point here is going to go out to here.
So that's the lawnmower there. Next thing I can do now is I can get the center for my compass to draw these two circles here. So this line here is my center line. And if I'm looking here, from this point here, it's I'm going to have to measure in 31. So from this point here, I'm going to measure in 31. That there is going to be the center point for my compass. And I'm going to draw two circles, 131 and one radius 15. There's my 15 arc. Once I have that done then, I can bring up this information up to my elevation. That there is the elevation and plan done. Next thing now is to move on to the end view. So my end view, I'm just going to draw a box that my full object is going to fit into. My end view is definitely going to fit in this box here. So to start off with my end view, I'm going to look in this way. I'm going to see the wheels here at the front. I'm going to see this orange part. I'm going to see this here. I'm also going to see a curve here from where the cylinder is coming up through this slope and surface. And I'm also going to see surface S. But the two wheels here at the front and the orange part are the main parts that I'm going to see. So just to start off, I'm just going to draw, I'm going to draw in the, the orange part there. And this here is the width coming across there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna draw in the wheels at the front. So that's the height there at the wheel at the front. So this here is my orange surface here. Which is the same as that there. And I have the two wheels at the front. So the next thing that I'm going to have, I'm going to, when I look in here, I'll see this orange and the two wheels. I'll also see surface S, but I'll only see some of the surface S. So this here is actually surface S here. So I'm going to transfer the height of surface S across here. And I'm also going to transfer this height here across as well. So this point here, 
that I, that I need to get is here. So it's going to be, that's that point there, and that's that point there. And that goes then out to the widest point here, which is there. Moving on then as well, I'm going to have this point, this surface, this line here is going to be up here. There's two more points. And then this is going to go back in, go back in again. And it's going to go up to this point here. Then I know then also that I'm going to have a cylinder here and I'm going to have an irregular curve here, curve here as well. And I'll put in the hidden detail at the very end. So what I'm going to do here now is surface S, that there is surface S, which is the same as this here. But you can actually only see part of surface S here because the front wheel is covered. So I'm going to leave the hidden detail to the very last, but the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the curve here and then view. And to do that, I need to break up my curve and my elevation. So I'm going to divide it up using my 60 degrees set square. points 12 so the next thing I need to do then is get a series of points right so 12 and 6 the first thing I need to do is I need I know that I can have gonna to have to bring these points up to the elevation. So that there is six and twelve, that point. This point here is three. Point is four and two, five and one, seven and eleven, eight and ten, and then we have nine. So I bring all these points here up until they hit this edge that there's the edge view of this slope and surface. And I label the points. So to get 12, 12, I project it here across, bring it up to my end view, bring it up here. So 12 is along this line here. I now can 
bring a straight line across from 12. And I know that this point here is 12, and this point here is 6. Next point, then I'm going to get our 11 and 7. So I'm going to bring across 11. And I can bring across 7. Forty-five degree that up, and bring up two straight lines. There, so eleven and seven are on those two lines. Then I bring across my point for my elevation. That there is eleven and seven. And then it's the same process then for 8 and 10. There's 10 and 8. And the last point I need to get is number 9. Number 9 is going to be along this line here as well. There's number 9. So what we had so far is the curve at the front here. But we also have a curve at the back, so I need to get those points as well. So I'm going to get 5 and 1, 4 and 2 and 3. But I can actually use, extend on these lines to get those points. There's 3. 4 and 2 now can be brought over. And 4 and 2 are going to be on the same lines as 8 and 10. So I'm just going to extend on this line here, 8 and 10. And then 5 and 1. That's one, and this will be four, five, six, and this is going to be three, two, and one. So now I can draw in this here now. So I'm going to have a curve here at the front. And then I'll also have a curve here at the back as well. And this is going to be this is going to be a light curve because or, or dashed curve because it won't be seen at the back. There's three. Let's double check the points there. This here is actually three.
And then the last bit of hidden detail that can be put in is that we're going to have this wheel here at the back. And I'm going to see, I won't see this wheel here at the back. So there's that data line for at the back. And I'm also going to have a line going across here for hidden detail as well. This is for the grass collection box at the back. The very last part of the question is determine the true shape. Determine the true shape of the surface. S. There's different ways to do this. One of the easiest methods to do is the rabat method. So you need the edge view of the surface to be able to do the rabat method. So what you're going to use is get your compass, rotate the surface until you can look at it at 90 degrees. So I've rotated this surface here. And now I can project straight up to my plan. Or to my elevation. That here is the true shape of surface S. Because you're looking at 90 degrees there to that there. You're looking straight in at the surface when you have rotated and you can see it's 90 degrees. But that there is the true shape of surface S. Another method that you could do, you could rebat, you could also rebat the object in plan. So there's a second different method to do it. So rebat the surface this way here. And then if you look 90 degrees this way. This here is your surface S as well. So that there is also the true shape of surface S, which is the same as that shape there. And the last, uh, another method that you can use is to do an auxiliary method. If you look at 90 degrees to the edge of an object, you will see the true shape. So at this here is 45 degrees. So I'm going to project off this here. I'm going to project down the way. I'm going to draw a uh, next one, my one. I'm going to take my heights from my elevation. So this here is the height of S off my XY line. And I'm going to mark it off from here. And what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to use this line here as a datum or a reference line so I'm going to take my measurements from here so 
but there's height of s there. Mark that off. Take this distance here. Mark that off. Enjoy my surface S. That there is also surface S. And that would work for any for any question through true shape. If you look at 90 degrees with 90 degrees to the edge, you you will see the true shape. And that there is that question complete.